as we welcome onto the stage our first act of part two, it's Tony O'Hara! Hello. I live in Brighton, and the most Brighton thing I've ever seen was a man getting arrested for shoplifting. Bay leaves. <laughs> And when the police questioned him, his defence was, but they're an essential ingredient. <laughs> I'm Irish, and I've got an apostrophe in my surname, which could be a real pain. Like, I tried to sign into Wi-Fi on a train, and it wouldn't accept the apostrophe. Said I had to use English letters. Yeah, fuck you, Great Western. <laughs> I used to house share with this couple, and my bedroom was right next to theirs. So some mornings I'd wake up, I could hear the headboard banging against the wall. I could hear him grunting, uh, uh. I could hear her moaning, oh. it sounded like a bear shagging a ghost. <laughs> and I'd be lying there thinking, oh, please stop, because one of you has to get up and make me a packed lunch for school. <laughs> I didn't do well in school. I remember in one French class, we had to talk about our parents' jobs. So I said my dad was a doctor. Now he wasn't, but I didn't know the French for violent alcoholic. <laughs> and I was very naive as a teenager. Like I thought I could grow up and be an inventor. But that was because my careers teacher told me my face was the reason glory holes were invented. <laughs> harsh, harsh. <laughs> Actually talking of inventions, when the telephone was invented, there was two ways to answer a call. One was hello. And the other was, ahoy, hoy. <laughs> we should have stuck with that. <laughs> I mean, how amazing would that be? I mean, celebrities would sell their wedding photos to Ahoy Hoy magazine. <laughs> and how incredible would that Lionel Richie song be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't like school. It was the type of school that didn't have a reunion. Unless you count the time we all went to court. <laughs> but if... <laughs> If you went to a normal school, reunions are great fun. You get to catch up with all your old friends and see if anyone's gotten so big, they now have type 3 diabetes. <laughs> and that's why your blood sugar levels are so high, you've essentially got jam in your veins. <laughs> I was thinking the other day, right, is twerking just Parkinson's of the arse? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> now that I'm middle-aged, I've noticed that... I get a lot of respect from teenagers. Honestly, any time I pass a group of teenagers, they always wave to me. <laughs> Some type of fancy new wave. But also, advertisers seem to think, because I'm middle-aged, I have money. Like, I get, I get ads saying, oh, wondering what to do with your investment portfolio. I don't even have a wallet. <laughs> like, I used to get ads for, like, for online dating sites. I now get ads for affordable funeral cover. <laughs> it's, it's depressing. <laughs> See, that's why I like going to Weatherspoons. It's great for my self-esteem. <laughs> you know, I can see the women checking me out with their one good eye. <laughs> Ooh, look at him with all his own teeth. <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> I, I tried uh, speed dating once, and one woman said she couldn't match with me because I look like an assistant librarian. <laughs> Not a proper librarian, just a helper. <laughs> she didn't even think I could alphabetize. <laughs> I was made redundant last year. On my birthday... Yeah. She <laughs> turned into a panto crowd then. <laughs> and the HR department, they didn't really know how to break it to me. But I figured out something was up when they gave me that P45 cake. So, I'm 45 next year? Hang on. <laughs> and have you noticed, it's weird. Whenever anyone breaks into a royal residence, they're detained under the Mental Health Act. Like, it's not mad to want to break into a palace. <laughs> There's millions of pounds worth hanging on the walls. Breaking into Broadmoor, that's mad. Places full of weirdos and sex offenders. Whereas a royal palace... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. 
and in an effort to try and milk that for a few more seconds. <laughs> You're looking lovely tonight. <laughs> Please don't put the card up. <laughs> This is by far and away the biggest crowd I've ever played to. So <laughs> 